guys, it's Megan. So I thought I would just continue to vlog this week. I just am like rendering my vlog that I filmed over the past few days and it's Sunday now and I just thought maybe I would take some clips throughout this week and just see how that goes because I am filming now on my iPhone and it's just like I said so easy and I wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff that we got at the Reading Terminal Market yesterday and I also wanted to share with you my lip which is the ColourPop <sighs> liquid lipstick in Tool, and this was a lipstick that Chloe gave me. She absolutely loves this color and I borrowed it when I was visiting her a few months ago and so she gifted it to me and I really like it. I think it's the first time I've actually worn it and definitely very matte which I'm not used to but I think the color is really pretty um but I did want to share you share you share with you the things that we got at the Reading Terminal Market so we went to the only place that I have really bought anything from at the Reading Terminal Market is this Flying Monkey um bakery and so that is their card and it's kind of in like the back middle corner near the Iovine Brothers um like farmer's market area so we got a few treats and I'll just show you through here so we got the vanilla cupcake the red velvet cake whoopie pie and then this thing called a s'moreo which is like a fresh marshmallow like dipped in chocolate and oreos and i'm guessing like graham crackers or something it sounded amazing and then i got for a dinner this week um some potatoes i got they were so cute they're like these itty bitty they were called like sea potatoes so i got red ones and then i got um i think these are russet potatoes so i got those two one of my ideas is to like roast them in the oven with just like olive oil and salt and pepper and to do that and then I also thought of like chopping them really thin and then kind of like frying them up as, I don't know, kind of like chips a little bit. And then I just noticed that my mom got these, what are these? I guess like sun-dried tomatoes. Ooh, that would be good on like salad or something. But. I wanted to also continue filming because I think it'll really encourage me to share with you more of the recipes that I'm making and this week I got bananas to make banana bread and now I don't see them. I hope my, my dad didn't eat them all but I want to make banana bread because my mom makes killer banana bread and I want to learn how to make it so that's one thing. And then everything else, I just have no idea. My boss gave me some ideas of like sides. Um, she said to do asparagus, like just roast it in the oven with all the normal seasonings, but then add lemon juice on top and that sounded really good. And then with Brussels sprouts, she said to do what I did um, the other day with the salt, pepper, and olive oil, but then add in bacon with it. And that just sounded like awesome. So I want to do that. And my eye has like this red thing, like a blood vessel in it. So that's like kind of freaking me out. But I'm gonna film a few videos, just two videos today. And um, I'm not gonna be able to film next weekend. So I'm like filming in advance. So you won't see these videos until like next week or something. So I'm trying to do every other day. I'm trying to stick with that as best as I can because I, I just love posting as often as I can, but I can't post every day without driving myself insane. So I'm going to start to post every other day as much as I can for as long as I can. And I think vlogging will also help. That'll just add another video that I can post for you guys like each week or every few, few days or whatever. So I don't know. I'm really excited about being able to vlog more easily and I just feel like I have, since I'm cooking and stuff, I have more to show than just me sitting in my bed watching Netflix all the time. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy these vlogs. I'm really excited about it and yeah, so I'll see you later. So I just filmed a video and my voice, I talked for like 30 minutes. So my voice is like super croaky, but I wanted to show you guys the iPhone case that I got. This is the Mophie Juice Pack Air. And of course I got the gold color because I didn't get a gold iPhone. I got the silver, even though I really wanted the gold, but the silver was the one that was on sale. 
And this case is a really awesome thing because it's a charging case. And so it covers the entire back of your phone. And um, I'm just really excited about it. The coolest part to me though is that, so I wanted this case, but they're like $100 I think if you bought them like retail price. And so I have really been into eBay over the past few months and I try to look on there to see compar comparable prices and Mophie, like the Mophie store has an eBay account that they sell the exact same products that are on their website for 60% off. So this, like I was so surprised because it said like Mophie on the eBay name but I actually got a order confirmation from Mophie directly and they sent me this like from the Mophie warehouse. So it's not like this reseller of Mophie products, it's actually Mophie. So I got this, I, how many times am I gonna say Mophie? But so I got this case for $40, it's usually 100 and I love it. It works perfectly. I tried it on my phone last night and it fits awesome. You can easily take it off if you need to. And I'm just super excited about it. And I know I showed you in last, like when I vlogged a few days ago, that I got these like glass screen protectors from Amazon. So I'm going to put that on my phone today and hopefully that goes well. But um, I just wanted to share with you guys this freaking Mophie eBay thing. I'll have a link down below because I was just amazed at that. So um, yeah, I wanted to share that with you. And now I will have a gold iPhone. Yay! I also wanted to share with you guys one of the coolest things that I have been doing with my iPhone and I have a Mac computer which I love and I never noticed this thing called AirDrop but I guess if you also have an iPhone and a Mac computer you can send files from one to the other without ever having to plug it in. It's through Bluetooth and so up here you can see AirDrop receiving two videos from Megan's iPhone. So that's how I've been transferring my vlog footage from my phone to my computer. It's so quick, so easy, and I just had to share that with you guys for anyone who maybe didn't know about this feature or I don't know, maybe everyone knows about it, but I've never heard of it before. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm editing the video that I just, just filmed, which was a chit chat like super super chatty video about like spending less my current thoughts on like limiting your spending etc and the one thing that I really forgot to mention that I think is so important to really stop the impulse online shopping and this is for all my fellow online shopping addictive people because it is so easy to online shop for me and my biggest problem was that my credit card, which this is first of all like a safety measure, but my credit card was like automatically, like it did the automatic fill in for the credit card information or like on certain websites it saves your credit card information so then it's a faster checkout for next time which just means they want to make money whether you definitely need it or not. But I deleted all of that information. So every time now that I want to buy something online, I have to go get my credit card out of my purse, bring it to my computer, decide that I definitely want it, and usually I decide that I don't want it, that I don't think that it's worth the money. And that is just this added check for myself that has seriously improved my impulsive online shopping and I'm not sure how many other people have that problem or that just automatically have their credit card information come up at stores online but I used to do it all the time at Nordstrom it was so easy if I saw something that I wanted and oh it's only $25 oh it's only $40 it was just like click click okay well there goes all that money and here comes a thing that you probably don't actually need so definitely for all my online shopping addicts out there delete that credit card information out of the 
um, like on my Google Chrome, it would automatically fill it in. So I deleted that. And then on individual store websites, I went into the information, like my account information and deleted it from there. And I think that'll also help, like then your credit card information isn't stored at all these different websites because so many websites and like information, stuff like that is stolen all the time. So I think that it will also help with that. But I wanted to mention it because I forgot in that video and it's definitely something that I've changed and that has really improved my online shopping impulsive purchases. So I'm trying to do these Sephora eye masks. I can't figure out which way to put it on. <laughs> I think it's this way because this one doesn't look right. It just looks a little too... Oh, I can't do it now with one hand. This is hilarious, but it like goes too far in. Okay, okay. These are supposed to be energizing and anti-fatigue, but so far they've just stressed me out. I just have to tell you guys how obsessed I am with Desi Perkins. She is my new addiction. Chloe told me about her. And I am just binging her tutorials. She is gorgeous. Okay, you guys, so here's a riddle. What is broken as soon as you say its name? Stop. Wait, what did you say? Did you what is that? broken as soon as you say its name? Yeah. Okay, any guesses? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. You better pause it. Wasn't that a good <laughs> effort? <laughs> Why did you like whisper it? Because I don't want them to know if they don't want to know. <laughs> if you got it right, let me know. If you didn't, well now you know the answer anyhow. We're at Wegmans getting ingredients for tomorrow's feast. Pork carnitas and salsa. And I have the recipes printed like a old lady, but I like it that way. In the days before Jacob's gluten head, we would get these delicious carrot cakes from Wegmans and like eat the entire thing. It was our favorite thing to do. I hate you, Jacob, for your gluten head. I hope that it disappears one day so we can just enjoy these delicious cakes again. But look at all these gluten-free things that Jacob can eat. Man, two whole rows. That's impressive. February's boy on the One Direction calendar is the beautiful Harry Styles. And too bad he didn't let his hair be short like that. Because now it just looks like a mop. But today is his birthday. And I had no idea that he was only 22. Like, I thought he was much older than that. Or something. I don't know. But yeah, happy birthday, Harry. I love you, boo. So these are the next two shirts I really want to get from my friend Kyle's Etsy shop, Totally Good Time. I just love his styles. So this one is Kristen Wake is my spirit animal, and I requested this on his Instagram, and I'm so happy. So I want to get that in a sweatshirt. And then I just noticed this one today. And it's a quote from the Mindy Project, and she always says, excuse me, so I want to get that as well. So it's Monday night, and I am just starting the pulled pork that I'm going to make. I'll, of course, have this link down below for you guys, this recipe. Um, but right now I'm just mixing up the rub, which is oregano, cumin, and olive oil. So I have this ground cumin, um, extra virgin olive oil, and then... I really wanted to show you guys this because this is my beloved oregano that Chloe got me my senior year of college because she goes to Greece every summer since she has family there and this is oregano straight from Greece. So I'm really excited to incorporate this into the pork and then we're just gonna, um, my mom's gonna help me prep it in the morning. So I'm just pre-making this rub. So this is the first time since the blizzard that I had to park outside and can you see my breath? <sighs> yeah, it's freezing in here. So I'm just defrosting my car and I'm gonna listen to Mindy's audiobook. This is my favorite song right now. Give what you think. Wish we could turn back time. 
to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep when I was stressed out. Wake up, you need to make money. The pork carnitas are in here and they smell amazing. I wish you guys could smell it. Rachel's helping with the mango. Mom's helping with the rice. I'm gonna start with the strawberries and then my favorite slaw that I made last week was with this rainbow salad and then you make a sauce out of sriracha and um, mayo and it just tastes really good. We put mango in it last time but since we're having um, fruit salsa I don't think we're gonna do that. Avocados and of course our favorite refried beans and Caitlin's coming over I'm so excited. Caitlin's making her infamous cheesy chips. Fancy phone. Yes, I love it. Wow, you put it on so nice. I just dumped them all out. You gotta make sure the cheese doesn't leak through. True that. And so Ultimate you need cheeses. special blend cheese, cheddar jack cheese, and cheddar cheese. So we should have all the cheeses accounted for. Since last year. Yum. <laughs> Rachel's Sam's tortilla shell. Caitlin, what do you think? I think you're the only one that eat yet. a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Yum! Yeah, looks so good. <laughs> hey you guys, so it's Tuesday night and I just wanted to get on here because I was just like stressing about just stuff that hasn't even happened yet like I have such bad social anxiety and so I have plans for this weekend and it's just I'm a person that always needs to know exactly what's going to happen I need a plan I need to feel like I am in control and can get out of a situation easily if I want to like to be able to leave wherever or just always have a backup plan and I feel like I don't have that this weekend and it, it's not like anything has even gone wrong yet and I'm just planning or expecting such a like terrible thing to happen and it's so annoying like I just feel my chest is so tight and it's just so annoying to feel like this and I feel I feel like this too often so I'm trying not to overreact but I wanted to just talk to someone because uh, I'm sure you guys who have strong emotions <laughs> know the feeling but like when you talk to your friends or like people about when you're upset then it just like amplifies it like it helps you because it like gets it out of your system but then since they know who you're talking about and what's going on then they will start to dislike other people or just expect you like I don't know it's annoying and I'm trying not to stare at myself in the camera and it's really hard <laughs> but I just wanted to vent to someone and just get it out of my system because I know that I just wish I wasn't like this I guess like I wish I wasn't so anxious about everything that had to do with people <laughs> basically <laughs> like literally even if they're like my best friends in the world I am so nervous like plant like thinking about it and knowing that it's coming up and like I said if I don't if I don't feel like I can be in control of the situation, it makes me extremely, extremely scared. And I don't know, I just, that's why I think I like to be the strongest personality in a friend group because then I can kind of dictate stuff, which I know isn't great to be that way. But it's, it makes me feel safer and stuff, so... For a good meal. Thanks. So yeah, that's just my current feelings, and it's annoying, but I had to say it out loud 
so I can go to bed. But thank you guys for listening. <laughs> Do you have a tilt? Okay, so Rachel did the Warby Parker five to try and sorry. There's a lady yelling on the wheel of fortune. It was really funny. And these are her favorite ones. Don't they look awesome? Oh my god, they look so good. Do you know what they're called? Uh, Preston Whiskey Tortoise. And mine are the Wilkie's Wh Whiskey Tortoise. And so this is completely free to get this. You just need to put in uh, your credit card information. And then you get them for five days, but Rachel already made her decision in like an hour <laughs> of having them. But look how cute we are. Warby sisters. <laughs> hey guys, so I wanted to do a little update because last night when you saw me in this state, I was really like depressed sounding and stuff. But um, so after I, oh, I have a face mask on, so let's not touch my face. Um, so after I filmed that, I decided to do something that was really hard for me. And that was to talk to my friend about the plans that I was really anxious about. And I didn't want to seem like I didn't want to go and stuff because I definitely do but I was just so anxious and nervous about the unknown and I told her how which this was really hard for me to do and I hate ever feeling vulnerable or seeming like I need support or help or anything like that so this was a kind of a breakthrough for me last night and so I just told her how I was feeling about it and she made me feel so much better and I feel so 100% better than I did last night about the whole thing and I know it was like the initial shock of everything like all these changes and stuff with our plans happening and it was just really really overwhelming to me and I'm so glad that I felt comfortable talking to her about it because I definitely don't feel that way about everyone. I don't feel like I can open up to them. Even though this doesn't seem like a super like monumental thing to talk to someone about, it really is for me. So I just wanted to say to all my anxious people out there that you won't feel like that forever. I felt like that for an hour or so and I know I would have felt like that for longer if I wouldn't have talked to my friend about it. So it definitely pays to be a little brave and feel a little scared when you're talking to someone about it, but just talk to someone. And it helped that I talked to you guys and kind of warm myself up. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that because I struggle with these types of things a lot. I hate opening up to people and I find it really scary. And like I said, I hate feeling vulnerable. So. It was a pretty big deal to me and I wanted to just encourage anyone that is the same type of way as me to not be afraid to do it, especially when it's someone you know that really cares about you and people pretty much always understand it's way scarier in your head than it is when it actually happens. So I just wanted to let you guys know that and I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> seeing my dad on the snapchat of things that I insert before this part I was dying I had him and my mom do some of the different filters but my dad was just killing me with his <laughs> amazement of that like helicopter or like airplane goggles one that was so funny so I was pretty much just dying about that and I am loving doing this vlogging every so often. It is so much fun and I'm definitely going to continue to keep this up as long as I can because I am really enjoying it and it's just so easy on the iPhone and I uploaded or I posted the first vlog that I did on the iPhone today. Today is um, Wednesday and you're not seeing this until Sunday so... I have been getting some good feedback on the footage and stuff from what went up on Wednesday, as in today for me. It's weird to be in this, like, weird time warp with posting because 
you pretty much always see it like way after I actually film it but um so this is going to wrap up this vlog and of course you'll see more shenanigans as always and I'm just really enjoying this so I hope you guys are too I hope you're having an awesome weekend and I will see you guys soon bye